You didn't think that I've abandoned this project, did you? Of course I haven't. Uh, it made some good progress in the last two months. The only thing is I don't have enough time to edit videos. But since I have a lot of raw footage now, I'm gonna give you an update, maybe even two videos. What a bonus, huh? So I finally decided to remove that cracked windshield from the frame because it was on my way and since it was cracked I didn't care too much about it and I just went to town and uh, took it out the easy way like a caveman. So now you can see how the cavemen were removing their windshields from the frames. And then I came back to the bodywork and I believe this was the last area where my ex-colleague who claimed that he was a perfectionist uh, cheated badly here by covering rusty holes with Bondo. But I've got an idea here. How about we weld some metal underneath before we put the Bondo, huh? Maybe it's gonna work, who knows? Let's try. So this was a tricky part because I needed a little ridge on the patch that I was gonna make. So I put a piece of uh, sheet metal on top of this scrap metal piece and I created my own ridge. And surprisingly, it was uh, the correct height the first time. So I cut two pieces and it matched perfectly. So I needed to cut the rusty metal now and weld those two new pieces there. So I decided to tuck one piece in place first before I cut the metal for the second one. Later I'm gonna cut that uh, little corner that's sticking inside the opening. It's a shame that wasn't done before because uh, the fenders got painted inside and now I'm ruining that paint. So. Later I had to uh, remove the paint, the burn paint from inside and paint them again. So this guy created so many problems for us that it's uh, really incredible. As usual I was cooling down the weld with uh, my air blower so it doesn't get distorted. And then I got it grounded and I cut that little piece to recreate the shape of that oval opening. This uh, rotten area of the fender also spread it on the body here and uh, this uh, so-called friend of mine uh, attempted to fix it but uh, of course in his uh, specific way which is not uh, very reliable. I hope you're watching my friend and I hope that you 
really feel ashamed about what you've done to our car. Let me show you how somebody who is not a professional like you would fix that problem. And you don't forget to hit that dislike button underneath, okay? And you know what? I'm gonna use your own patch. But I'm gonna show you how a newbie like me would do it. Not very professional, but it worked. I'm sorry guys about this uh, personal message, but uh, I really want this guy to be aware that we know what he did last summer. <laughs> So as usual I cut the rotten area and replaced it with this brand new old patch. So when this part of the body was fixed too, I put the fender to see how they match. One day I'm gonna learn how to make it seamless so it doesn't need bondo but for now this is what I can do this is my best but I think it's good enough it can be smoothened with uh, some bondo later it matches more or less okay so I think I'm gonna leave it for now and I'm gonna remove the fender again and I still need to do some other stuff underneath and then I need to do something here with the rocker Still, now see this is gonna go in, but the rocker needs to come out because I can put my finger here. It needs to be like here, but it opens. So. I don't think I need to take the whole rocker out. Maybe I can split it here on top. Let me open the door for you. So what I think I can do is split it somewhere here, like what I did on the Spitfire. Split it somewhere here, pull it out and weld it again. And then this is gonna match and I won't be able to put my finger under the door anymore so that's the idea <sighs> lots of work before I do that though I noticed that here on the B post uh, somebody snapped a screw inside this cage nut so I had to drill it out and uh, tap it before I forget
and then I proceeded to splitting the rocker as I said When it was cut, I bent it out a little bit. And that worked <laughs> very well. I just had to clean the paint and weld it in the new position. I just tucked it first and closed the door to see if it was ok, which it was, so I proceeded to welding it permanently. This gap was uh, almost a little bit too wide for uh, welding, but um, I decided not to put metal inside and just fill it with weld, which worked well. A little bit slowly, but it worked. Then I welded the vertical part as well and I ground it, which is a little bit tricky here because it needs to be um, perfectly matching the fender. So a couple of times I had to put it on and off and on and off to make sure that the curve of the rocker matches the curve of the fender. And while I was putting it on and off, on and off, uh, something interesting showed up again. And that was another message from my mysterious friend. This bondu here cracked, which uh, means only one thing. There is a big hole underneath that was covered with bondu, as usual. So let's see what's underneath. Well, this patch here is, I believe, from a long time ago but the problem was inside over there this is where my friend attempted to fix it again so i decided to cut out this patch and redo it together with the part inside but notice that i'm cutting only three sides here the fourth side i didn't even need to cut this is where my friend repaired it <laughs> and that's his patch let's remove it This was welded. <laughs> uh, so now, do you realize why he didn't weld uh, patches, but he preferred to put every, a bond on everything? Because he didn't even know how to weld, which he said he did when he came to work. So I also cut the rest of the metal that was inside because it was very thin and I replaced everything with a big patch. I didn't want to weld it on the bench though, I wanted it to be on the car because I was afraid it was gonna get uh, distorted. 
So one more time I put the fender back on and I did the external part of the patch. And then when I made sure that uh, the shape matches everything on the car, I took the fender one more time out, put it on the bench and uh, fixed the inside. I ground it, then I cut the uh, excess of the patch and I was ready. Or not really. Hmm, what's going on here? You know what guys, I'm not gonna say a word anymore till the end of this video because I'm running out of bleeps. And since I was uh, real happy with the final outcome of this uh, fender, I could now go to bed. Good night.